Hi everyone, I'm Sindre9. Welcome back to Let's Play Jade Cocoon. So, a few things. In between episodes, I went and gathered quite a few minions and turned them to silk. So that's why I have 10 Cloud Silk and 7 Thunder Silk. Also, pro tip, from a uh, LPing standpoint. After you're done grinding, make sure you save before you go anywhere. That way, if you find a cutscene or something, you don't lose it forever. That way you can show your audience. <laughs> that way you don't have to grind everything twice. <laughs> Pro tip. Also, got a uh, another great walnut. We're going to use it. All right, two HP that time, nice. So up to 103. Uh, also got a special liquor. One of the uh, minions dropped it. Uh, restores HP and mana to a minion, which is really cool. Uh, restores all minion HP and mana, by the way. Uh, very cool. I would like more of those. <laughs> uh, so that's uh, one thing. Another thing I want to say is... I'm going to sit here and play Jade Cocoon <laughs> for a while, and I'm just going to make cuts, that way I have episodes, that way there's not five days in between episodes, because I really don't like that. I'm sure you all would like more episodes as well, more frequently. So as always, I'm going to try my best, I have some time today, and we're going to do this, so if by... I think this is episode, which episode will this be, <laughs> 8, 9, whatever it ends up being, uh, like by episode like 15, if I'm like a little loopy or something, it's because I've been sitting and playing Jade Cocoon for like 4 hours, so, yay, <laughs> but all in all, I think it should be a lot of fun. The first thing we're going to do is head to the town shop, that way we can sell all of the silk. Hi! Oh, welcome! The Cocoon Master silk is of such high quality, I really like it! And Mabu looks so womanly now, must be those beautiful clothes. Now we have another option, we can ask about Mabu, after Mabu really went on that, uh... Talk with, with Levant and really aired how she was uh, sh how she was feeling oh she hasn't stopped by yet today she certainly looks so pretty nowadays doesn't she did she change her makeup or perhaps it's because she has someone to love her I really envy you too I envy you too I really do by the way thanks for being nice to my son you see our family moves around a lot so it's hard for him to make friends Hope you get along with him. He's not here now, but maybe he's seeing the old gravekeeper or the minstrels in the square. Alright, let's shop. First thing we're going to do, we're going to sell the silk. Uh, is there a... Uh, is there a... No, I'm just going to have to hold up. Okay. 10 cloud silk, that's 1500. We'll take that. And that's 1575. That should be enough to buy everything I want to. Hope so. Let's see. We have uh, in this shop mugwort, meta mugwort, uh, shab liquor for minion HP. Restores minion HP and mana to a certain degree. I'm sure the fine liquor is better than the shab liquor. We also have this the total restoration, poison antidote. Stone the Flesh, powder made from sun-dried Ikari herb, increases inner strength to turn stone back to flesh. Uh, petrify, we're gonna have petrify. Well, I kinda didn't want to see that, but... Please, uh, oh yes, next time please ask Mabu about the Nagi fabric. We'd like to go to the Nagi village and buy it ourselves. But you know, the elders keep its location secret. Come again anytime. With that, let's head to the blacksmith. Hi! 
It's good, buying better weapons. But don't you get carried away. The weapon of the Cocoon Master ain't the sword. It's the power of your flute, right? That's what Raquette's always said. Why can't Levant buy a better flute then? <laughs> I guess that's the Cocoon Master level. Well, what do you want now? Well, we want to shop. Here's what I got all the money for. There's new stuff in the shop. We have uh, the Sword of Speed, which I was going to buy. And then I saw, oh hey, there's an Iron Sword, which is pretty powerful. It's not quite as powerful as the Iron Axe, but it has a lot more speed. There's also Little Bird. Uh, provides divine protection of the wind, lightening its user's load. Uh, the Iron Sword is a two-handed sword. But this short sword has quite a bit less attack. It has attack on par, uh, just a little more than a dagger. So it doesn't have a lot of attack. It does get plus 10 to magic attack, but it gives plus 20 to speed compared to what we have now. It's 15 speed faster than the iron sword. So this is really what I wanted to save, mon uh, save up money for. I really like going, going fast in battles. So I'm going to buy the little bird for Levant. I'm really tired of going slower than Ness. So uh, yes, we'll ready it now. There's that. Now, armor wise, there's new armor. I was going to buy the plate mail vest. But now there's the silver vest and the divine vest. Now, I thought about this quite a bit. Quite a bit. Made of the hardest iron known. Yajako's greatest masterpiece. That's great, Yajako. But... The silver vest, softer than other materials, pr protects the wearer with the power of silver. Now, you get more defense and more magic defense out of the divine vest, and you lose a little bit of speed. You don't get quite as much out of the silver vest, defense and magic defense wise, but you lose no speed and you get magic attack as well. The speed, dif the uh, defense difference is pretty significant to me 30 33 the magic defense isn't as much it's just one so i was thinking about saving up the 2000 for the divine vest but i'm just going to go with the silver vest and see how it works out ready that now uh other other wise he has like accessory wise he has the silver headband resistance to magic it does, but what we have is better. Uh, way better, in my opinion. Look at that uh, magic attack and speed. So, we're going to sell some uh, old equipment. We're going to sell the dagger. And... Yeah, the leather headband. We'll do that. If you need a more powerful weapon, come back later. Maybe I'll have something ready by then. And you this back, is... I see. Is everything all right at home? And this is what... <laughs> what I stumbled upon and was like... Oh... Darn it. <laughs> I heard about those awful rumors going around at the silk mill. They say Fio and Mabu aren't getting along. It's not true, is it? Don't you pay attention to what they say. Hey, shush, honey. You're being rude. <laughs> That's none of our business. I can't stand it when she spreads rumors like this. Oh, women. What are you talking about? No. It's because you men are so undependable. You're always driving us crazy. See? Every time you open your mouth, you've got to badmouth me. Wait! <laughs> I was only trying to help, 
Please take care of your mom and Mabu. Don't grow up to be an insensitive fool like this big guy. Okay, I don't know what sound was trying to get in there behind <laughs> behind them talking. That was weird. Uh So yeah, apparently there's some rumors going on about Mabu. So, why don't we take a little detour and check those out as well? I want to rearrange. There we go. So, uh, they said the silk mill. We'll go there after we head to the town shop. I wanted to buy the armor and then sell stuff and see how much I had left after all of that. So. Let's see. Let's buy a few meta mugwort and some fine liquor for the minions. We'll do that. One more of these to use. And three of these Ikari powder. There you go. Just in case. All right, now let's go check out the silk mill and see what these rumors are all about. You. Hey, how are you doing? Can't you do anything about that demon curse? But then again, looks like you have more important things to do first. Yeah, uh, working on it. You good-for-nothing flute player! When will you lift the curse? Your music is only trickery! That's enough now. So sorry about that. But try to understand how she feels. Well, here. Here's the flute, and you can go out and try to uh, fix it yourself. How about that? Sorry, I have very little tolerance for that. I understand you may be very upset. No, really, I saw it with my own eyes. Before I continue, I know you may be really upset, and yes, we're all prone to outbursts and things to that. Heck, I I do it probably quite a bit as well. Not probably, I, I do it quite a bit, and probably more than than I realize. But he's trying to save the village. I, we've been through, what, two forests now? So let's assume that it's been quite a bit of time. Uh, we have no way to measure time here. Uh, you know, no dates or anything. So we can't really measure time. But I believe, I, I would think it's been a little while. He's gone to these two forests and uh, things have been happening. So to just outburst on him now now maybe if i came here and talked to them earlier maybe they would have had a different the same attitude if that's the case then sorry but if you're just now saying that after two you know going through through two stages quote unquote here let me show you what my flute playing can do and just summon a minion you know it, it just i don't know that that uh, that rubs me the wrong way I was doing some shopping yesterday at the town shop, and that girl came in to sell some silk. She was wearing far too much, which I thought was strange, so I kept an eye on what she was doing. And then... Really now, how discourteous. You might get cursed too, you know. And then we'll have nothing to do with you. I'm not going to die, thank you. You're just saying that. You really want to know, don't you? Or perhaps such vulgar talk does not suit your highness? Oh, stop teasing me. Well, what did you see? When she showed the silk thread, I noticed a faint pattern imprinted on her arm. It must be all over her body now. Those are the cursed brandings. 
All who perform purification ultimately go mad, they say. So that means Mabu will become like a demon too, eh? So that's why Riquettes ran off. He must have really been in love. It's so enviable, yet sad. Enviable? I'm sorry. I'd rather stay alive, thank you. <sighs> Speaking of things rubbing me the wrong way. Hi! Well now, speak of the devil. So, when will the men of the village awaken? When I'm good, damn well and ready. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure. <clears throat> Is Mabu okay? I sometimes see her at the shop. She's... alright? Your mission is important, but don't neglect your family. Wives and mother-in-law... mothers-in-law are all the same, even when they're Nagi. I could just... I could just sense her having that condescending tone. Duh. Mabu is working hard to save this village, by the way, I'll have you all know. And probably more than just this village. There's probably bad stuff happening all throughout this this world, for all we know. So, you know, she's doing a lot. And so is Levant. So uh, the fact that you're looking down on them. After, after they're trying so hard to help you all. Just... Ugh. Okay, before we head out, let's go to the cemetery. Because we haven't got it, gotten our new story yet. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, it's the Cocoon Master. Didn't expect to see you here. I just came here to escape the store and my mom for a bit. Do you come to hear some folk tales? Or has the latest news been bothering you? Heard a little from Mabu. Seems she isn't getting along so well with your mom. I understand what that's all about. People's feelings can sometimes make things so difficult. Hmm. That's true enough. Hi, do you have a new story for us? Mabu, I'm afraid I haven't seen her lately. What is it? Marital problems, eh? She's always been strong-minded, more than any other child in Cyrus. Eh? What do you want today? Do you want to hear this old man's stories? So, let's see, we heard the story of the Birdman, so we need to hear the story of the Forest Man, but before that, uh, Mabu is very strong-minded, but she may also be a little confused right now. Maybe she hasn't embraced her role yet as the wife of the Cocoon Master. Heck, for all we know, Levant hasn't completely embraced his role as well as Cocoon Master. From what I can tell, they're both pretty young so to be thrust into this situation is this tough but let's hear the story of the forest man once upon a time this forest was a paradise for the divine spirits who served Elrim god of the forest the forest people are the incarnation of Mamon the Divine Spirit of Knowledge. When the Divine Spirits created man, it was Mamon who bestowed knowledge upon them. But man used his knowledge for the pursuit of ruin. In the end, Gehenna Palais was destroyed because man aroused Elrim's wrath. Bestowing knowledge upon man troubled Mamon greatly. In order to prevent the mortals from causing further destruction, to this day he lives in the forest, protecting it from the foolish ways of man. If you act not in destructive ways, surely Mammon shall bestow upon you valuable knowledge. 
We are in good hands with you as our cocoon master. Come again anytime. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> the wind is blowing again. It's almost as if the forest weeps. I'm afraid something terrible will happen. Why do I get the feeling something terrible is going to happen? <laughs> well, thanks for that bit of knowledge. That story wasn't anywhere near as long as the uh, Birdman one. Or at least didn't feel like it. To me, anyway. And, like, no weaknesses or anything. However, the tip may be to not, not fight if we get into a fight with them. Which is always weird. It always throws me off in games. Because... Let's say, uh, that's the that's the way the tip reads, to me. That, you know, to be nice and to not fight, so just defend. But then, you've got to go through the onslaught, and if you're wrong, then you're just game over. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I've never been a, a fan of that. Let's go have Levant talk to his mother. Because apparently there's some friction. Hi. Excuse me. Oh, you're back. So, how is your work going? Don't overdo it. Tell me if there's anything I can do for you. Uh, stop fighting with Mabu? Ask about Mabu. I was concerned about Mabu, so I've been talking with her while you were away. We talk about things like the Nagi, life, your father and me. Uh, but maybe I am just bothering her. She probably doesn't need both Garai and her mother-in-law looking over her shoulder all day long. I wanted to let her know that there are many ways to express love for another. Your father and I wanted to preserve our type of love, even if it meant breaking tradition. Don't you see? In time, perhaps you and Mabu too will understand. True purification is achieved when your two hearts come to beat as one. More than anything, I do not want your marriage to fall victim to tradition or your sense of duty. That I can get behind. Uh, maybe you need to explain that to Mabu. <laughs> I hope you make the right choices, my son. Live for each other, not for anyone else. So help me, Levant, if you end up doing something stupid. Ah... <laughs> uh. I see it took about I took about an hour to grind in between episodes. Jeez. Getting close to half an hour in this video and all we've done is talk and get a lot of backstory. Which is great, you know, don't don't take that the wrong way. Kinda of had a negative tone this episode. I really apologize for that. It's just There's a negative tone in the village, so I guess I'm kind of embracing that um let's i guess we can go ahead and get started let's head to the barrier gate and use our newly acquired spider key And see what new adventures await us here. You look interesting. You're nothing? That's kind of a shame. <laughs> I guess there were some also on the... Yeah, they're right here. I guess they're kind of like... Kind of look like mushrooms, I guess. Oh, hi! Radgor. Oh, I like the way you look. Let's... You kind of look like, uh... 
our Patreon. But not quite, I don't think. Uh, anyway, let's Earth Attack. Oh, come on! It's a great way to start. Just miss the uh, attack I went to hit. There we go. Much better. Let's see. Thirty. Uh, we can. One more hit. Oh no, nope, that was too much. Darn it! Don't know if I just wasn't paying attention to the calculations wrong, or if it just did a little more damage than I thought it was going to. Level up. Plus one to attack, defense, and speed. Plus 26 HP and two mana. Hopefully you'll come back, because I want to capture you. And you're interesting. Rad Mole. Rad. Are y'all... Uh, radiated? Do I need to get my rad X's out and rad away? Should I start planning ahead? Let's, I guess again, summon. There we go. Stayed quiet for, for the tune that time. I like it, it's different. Remember, Levant's an adept now, so he has different tunes to, uh, uh different songs to capture and, uh, summon. Stone! Isn't that great? At least it doesn't seem it's happening right now. Probably... We'll turn to stone after another- oh, thanks for missing. Hit. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I like that effect, game. Nice. You can see that uh, sto uh, Steel Turtle is turning to stone. You can see it's becoming more and more just uh, the same shade of gray. I like that. That's a nice effect. But we're going to summon Levant. Oh, I like the way the dagger looks, too. The uh, little bird. All right, let's capture. Yeah, that looks that looks slick. I like that. There we go. Now I wonder if the stone status effect goes away. Oh, we also got bitter mugwort. That's nice. There's another rad mole. All right, good. It came back. I really want to capture you. Summon again. Yeah, so at least the stone stats effect went away. Ah, you need to quit missing with that. Because that just saves a lot of time. <laughs> I really like the way that spell looks. Come on. Get down to where I can capture you. Probably just one more hit. Yeah, that's good. Switch back to Levant. And capture.
All right. Wait a bit too. That because of the levels, I think this is going to be a good place to get uh, better silk than what we've gotten so far, and to give our minions some levels. Because there you go. See level seven. Our minions will actually get some decent EXP out of this. At least if we can find different uh, <laughs> different elements, all our minions can. Right now, it's all. I'll, uh, steal a turtle on this one. Earth attack! Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, that's just terrible. I really don't want to use a liquor yet. I would much rather... Uh, I'd much rather just let the HP and mana come back through somebody else fighting, but... Can't have uh, Flame Wasp out there fighting, that'd be bad. Because of the water. Although he's not really using a water attack, so... Alright. Let's capture another one. And then I'll have to come back and get the minions some experience sometime. Capture. Almost level 10, I think, on capture. Let's see. Uh, left or right? Let's go left. Hi! So, what we're gonna do instead, let's. Actually, I'm kinda curious, how much do you hit for, Levant? 15? Does this have a wind effect? Kinda look like it. Tech again. Huh. I'd like to find an Earth minion and see just how much damage this does. I like the speed. Got to attack twice. See, that's what I'm talking about. And with the better armor, you can actually take a hit. <laughs> good, good. Okay, let's... I guess you could do this one, Levant. Why not? We haven't seen you really attack in a while. Get two hits again there. And capture. go capture level 10 all right what else do we have this way you're new fire huh all right that works for me At least there's different different elements in this place. Patakuga. You kind of look like that one uh, from like the first forest. I had a minion that kind of looked like you, except you look different. Hmm. Let's use water attack. 
Yeah, there we go. That's how you're supposed to do it. Oh, I got a kind of a wind-up punch there. <laughs> What's a goblin punch, but I don't know if you're a goblin, so... Alright. Let's get a new friend. <laughs> Get in the cocoon. Here we go. There's another special liquor. Nice. Anything else here? Uh, path north. Let's not take that. Let's continue on the, this path. Probably just loops around. <laughs> For all I know. Oh, this worked really well, so let's do it again. Water attack? Yeah. I don't think I want to capture this one. I actually want to get some some EXP for the minions. There we go. Now it's level 7, so it should give quite a bit of EXP. Here's hoping. Yeah, there we go. All right. That's the deal with the if the enemies are just like level 3 high. It's you again. Um, I guess they're pretty good. All right, let's go. Hi. Just my luck. I can't earn a single yawn capturing a human. Hey, kid, got some firefly cocoons? I'll hand them over now and there won't be any trouble. Really? What? You want to fight? Fine with me. Come on. You're lost, poacher guy. You don't have an element, which is interesting. So, eh, can't capture. Let's... Yeah. Go with what I feel is our most trusty minion. Smack him down, water attack. Yeah! That's right, you can summon. Air, huh? La Goat. Oh, that looks pretty cool. I gotta say. Bet you're fast, huh? See how you like this. You're better with magic. Agni! Eh, not bad. Now try a fire attack. Good. You're going down. Bye. Hi, poacher guy. Any other tricks up your sleeve? Oh, a cr I had to open my big mouth, huh? <laughs> You would crit. Oh, and then a minute. Wow. That went downhill fast. Alright, fine. I feel like Levant getting a hit in. Mmm. There we go. See, Levant can fight too. Not bad. summon our patron back out and hopefully finish this water attack yeah one more hit should do goodbye
Uh, great Walnut and a Skeleton Key. Alright, got a Skeleton Key out of it. Wow, almost got two levels out of that, it looks like. Nice. Uh, plus two attack, plus one defense, plus one magic attack, plus one speed, plus 14 HP, and plus three mana. Cool, I'll take that. Uh, 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 we're the opponent, I see. That, that'll be all for today. Oh, you didn't drop anything this, this time? That's a shame. I was expecting to get something. Well, I guess the skeleton key. I got it. Plus, I can go this way. But, we're... Flame Wasp is down, which is not cool. <laughs> and I would like to get some EXP. Plus, we're a little over 40 minutes. So, what I'm going to do is head back to town. from the from the spider forest and off screen I'm gonna look at the uh, merging of minions see if any of that kind of catches my eye I like so I end up liking some of the uh, merges with the new minions we got and maybe turn one or two into silk see how that goes to see if they give better quality silk and how much we could sell it for. So we'll do that. I said I'll do some of that in between episodes and then uh, show some of it off next time in the next video. So I'm going to uh, cut the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Had a lot of fun. I'm Cinder 9 Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.